In this video, we're going to take a look at solving an equation using our graphing calculator. Okay, um, this is not meant to replace doing it by hand. Um, you need to appreciate that doing it by hand is very important. Okay, but here's a, a way to use your graphing calculator. And there's some abstract understanding here that you have to have. Otherwise, you're just hitting buttons and getting answers. Well, we're going to show you how to do this on your calculator here, where it says directions. Please solve for the following, uh, excuse me, solve the following equations for the unknown with your graphing calculator. So in this first problem, we see it's number one, five times the quantity of x plus three, minus three x equals 13. Well, the one thing I'm going to do there is I'm going to think of this as two expressions one to the left of the equal sign and one to the right. The one on the left, I'm going to call it y1, and the one on the right, I'm going to call it y2. Now, that should have some familiarity uh, in sound due to the fact that when we're on our calculator and we go to the graph window, we have one, y1, y2, y3, y4. Well, here in an equation, it has two sides, so I only need y1 and y2. I'm going to enter y1 the left part of the expression to be 5 times quantity x plus 3 minus 3x. I'm going to arrow down and get y2 to be equal to 13. Okay. So now I'm going to hit my graph button. So basically, essentially, I'm graphing the left side of the equation and the right side of the equation. So hopefully you'll have a sense that where they equal would have to do with the point of intersection. Now, if you see when the graph comes up, I only seem to see one of them. So we're going to have to change our window and zoom. First um, plan of attack here is to hit zoom, scroll up, which is scrolling way down by doing that in reverse fashion. If we go to zoom fit and hit enter, it'll try to refit the window so I can see all the graphs that I'm trying to make in that y equals window. And we say it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to look for this point of intersection right here where I'm hovering the mouse over. And to do that, we're going to do second trace. And then choosing number five, where it says intersection. That's what we want to do. Now, what I need to do here is take my arrows and arrow to where the intersection is there and about. It says first curve here. Okay, this is some behind the scenes stuff about Newton's method that you don't have to be aware of. But once you get the cursor blinking on the intersection, you just have to the equals button, the enter button three times. One, two, three. And what we see here is we're looking for the x value. It says x equals negative one. So that is the answer, x equals negative one. I'll even take a quick picture of that. Move it over here. So we see it's the point of intersection. And again, it's the x value. The y value we don't need here because we're solving for x in this problem. Now, that being said, uh, I'll show you just a little more complex example where there's variables on both sides of the expression. Yet again, though, there's nothing different for me to do. What I'm going to do here is I will look for the equal sign. Left side I'll call y1. Right side I'll call y2. The one thing you need to realize here, too, although this has m's in it, I'm going to think of the m's as x's so that I can make the graph. Remember, when you're in the graphing window, the variable has to be x, or you'd have to make some different settings to your calculator have it, but uh, in your basic setting, factory default setting, you need to have x as the variable here. So what we see here is we're going to have on the left side in y1, 2x minus 5, down arrow, and we're going to get negative 12x plus 16. Then I'm going to hit graph. And here I don't have to resize the window at all because I can see the point of intersection, so I go right to, again, Second, trace. And if you see what it's telling me to do there is calc. Okay, that's what's in gold above the trace. Choose five for intersection. Use your arrow key to 
get the cursor to blink on a point of intersection or near it, and then one, two, three presses on the enter button. So here we see that we have that the answer for this will be x equals 1.5. Actually, it would be m equals 1.5. Okay, we don't need the y value. It was the x value we were solving for off the calculator, which we said we substituted just mentally for m. You could solve both of these by hand and see that they would, in fact, uh, be the answers to the problems. I hope you realize that this helps you speed up through the problem if you need to get your answer quickly, but maybe this is a step in a larger problem. You can always defer the directions of your teacher, though. If they say show your work, this is not really showing your work. Um, I believe that this is a, a acceptable method for the SAT as well. Uh, so feel free to use it as directed.